So a lot of people recommend the pod mic. Is it really that good? Let's talk about that for a minute, shall we? So the pod mic is not a bad microphone. It's a dynamic microphone. It's a good looking microphone. It's a very well built microphone. But is it that good for $100? Uh, here for yourself. This is no EQ at all. This is the microphone out of the box. And I know you're going to say, oh, but you can tweak it with EQ and whatnot. But that's not the point because uh, in my mind, someone that buys a microphone for $100 is looking for a budget solution, most likely doesn't know a lot about audio or how to EQ. That's why I'm using uh, flat EQ. I'm using the GoXLR, but I'm I'm not touching the, the EQ bands. It's all flat, the out-of-the-box sound of the microphone. And it's not great. It's not horrible. <sighs> kind of is, but that's not my point. My point is, this is not a $100 microphone. Because I'll show you in a minute why. This thing weighs almost one kilo, so this can't be a $10 boom. I'm using the GoXLR Mini, which is a $200 interface, because this microphone requires a lot of gain, and you can't just drive it with a, with a cheap interface. And I'll show you why I have a problem with the pod mic. It's not because of what it is, it's because of what it isn't, if that makes sense. This is why I don't like the pod mic. So the pod mic uh, is $100. A boom that can hold the pod mic is about 70 or 80. An interface that can drive it is 200. So this is... Uh, I bought this in Europe, so it's a, a little cheaper. So this is over $350 for the hundred dollar microphone. This, this, and this will cost you under a hundred for the whole set. And let me show you how that sounds compared to the pod mic, because that's where the money is. Okay, so now we're using the Behringer uh, XM 8500. I still have it plugged to the GoXLR, but I actually had to dial down the gain uh, by about 10 decibels. So that's to show you any interface can drive it. So that's the that's my beef with the pod mic. It's not what it is. It's what it's not. So for a hundred dollars. And less, you can sound like this instead of what you s it sounded like before. So you be the judge of that. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I do not recommend the pod mic for that reason. Unless you don't care about audio quality, you just want the looks. I mean, it looks great. It's not a great microphone. You can do better for that kind of money, especially because the price tag lies to you. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, sorry about the setup. I'm not ready to record YouTube videos or anything. I usually stream on Twitch. Uh, check the description for the links. Um, in the meantime, guys, you stay awesome and choose whatever make you like. Uh, this is just a PSA. And that's about it. Have fun, guys. That's the important thing. Always have freaking fun.